Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been looking at branching out into playing different game modes in Forza Horizon instead of just bringing the regular Forzathon and Photo Challenge guides and I thought that hide and seek would be the perfect way to do this and in a way I think I was right. It's actually a really enjoyable game mode. Now the premise of it is there are five seekers and one hider. The hider is in basically a plain AI car so there's a couple to choose from which I'll go through in a minute. And in essence, you have to survive for four minutes without being found by the seekers or without them reaching the maximum in their seeker bar um, and then proceeding to going on to a final zoned area to win as a hider. Now, if you're a seeker, obviously there are five of you and you basically have to find the person who is disguised as a plain AI car and keep on their tail until you complete 100% your seeker bar. Now, it is quite fun and it's kind of easy uh, as a seeker as a hider obviously not so much now being a seeker you get to pick from a bunch of cars as you can see here so there's a good choice there's some off-road there's some supercars and there's just some sort of generally good all-rounders but you don't necessarily know the map you're going to play in so it's a bit hard to pick personally i always opted for the gtr but some maps some cars do better the off-road ones for example as you can see in the play as your map or if you're in guanahato something a bit more sort of sportier quicker on the acceleration is best to use likewise when you're a hider you only get four cars to pick from so as you can see here three of them are pickups and one of them is the jeep wrangler now when i was playing hider which i only played once it seems to be quite rare i went for the jeep and i was in the guanahato map which was super super fun uh, and actually it made it feel kind of easy because there was a lot of side streets and stuff to go down whereas when you're in play as you it's a bit more open and harder to sort of escape people now there are perks to use so if you're a seeker you can use the ping which if you're near i think it's within about 50 yard radius or so of the hider it will ping their exact location and hover over them for a few seconds that then draws attention to the rest of the seekers and will obviously start bringing them near to the hider now i know what you're thinking obviously five people against one that makes life hard it does it's not straightforward and easy being the hider however you do get a perk which basically creates an emp for want of a better word and will freeze any sort of seeker within a 50 meter radius of you will bring basically bring them to a halt and will put you in ghost mode so they won't be able to smash into you or anything which is definitely quite an op perk but it's needed because there's literally just one of you and five others in much faster and more powerful cars than you have now like i said the guanahato map I thought is actually the best one especially if you're playing the hider there's a lot more AI traffic there's a lot more side streets it's a bit more of an open map at the back as well and I found it quite easy to escape from the seekers whereas in play as you I found it really easy as a seeker to find the hider so it's kind of a case of sort of hoping you get the map that suits you best like I said being the hider I think I've played five games and I was the hider once so that seems to be quite a rare thing and you don't get to pick either it's just random um but it's still a really really fun game mode to be fair i've had a lot of fun playing it as you can see here there is a boundary in the map as well so you're not confined to the whole map it's sort of a smaller area of it and even when that last end zone opens up that's still within the barriered off uh, area but it generally is a really fun game mode it's obviously something else when you've got the eliminator which is different from normal racing so it adds a new sort of layer to the game the only other problem, I suppose, is the number of cars you can pick from, but hopefully that's something that could be changed too. And maybe even a map vote, that would probably be quite good. That would be good to see. So far, I've only played Play It As You and Guanahato maps. I assume there obviously is more, but, you know, there's it's a bit sort of harder if you're in the sort of Dunas Blancas region, which is just sandy dunes, to try and hide from people. So much so that when you're a hider, you don't actually do much hiding. And I found it easier to not try and blend in with traffic, was just try and drive as far away from the other drivers uh, as possible. Which, when you are the hider, that's another good thing that happens, is you can actually see them on your map. So it's a lot easier to try and escape from them. Whereas when you're a seeker, you just basically have a radar that gets 
bigger and bigger as you get closer to wherever the hider is it will point you in the right direction and then when you get closer the meter will fill but from there it's a case of picking out which ai car if you can even see any they are or they might be hidden behind a building so you don't necessarily see them and to ping them you have to actually see them is my understanding uh, and then that will ping their car but like i said i've had a blast playing this game mode i'm hoping to try and play it a bit more maybe even with some of you guys that'd be absolutely great if we're able to party up and do it which again i'm not sure if we can but i think it would be great to hear your opinion on how you think this game mode plays out if you're enjoying it if you're not bothered with it uh, what improvements you think could be made as well but all in all i think it's a really fun game mode it might sort of get a bit boring after a while but at the moment i'm having a thoroughly enjoyable time hopefully you guys are too but like i said let me know down below in the comments how you're feeling about this game mode if you're enjoying your time on it or if you're not it'd be really good to hear everyone's opinions and feedback on it but apart from that folks i hope this video helped you out if it did and you're new to the channel i'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe and massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care